Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Joanna Chikwi, who is the Chair of Cardiac Surgery. Dr. Chikwi, it is great to see you again. Thanks for being with me. Pleasure, Adam. Yeah, so we're here at Cedars. We're gonna answer some patient questions while I've got you here. Just had a question come in from Carla at Facebook very near and dear to my heart. It's all about the Ross procedure. As you may know, I had a Ross done about 20 years ago. I've had no reoperation, no intervention. Carla asks a great question, which is, if I choose to go with the Ross procedure, do I get put on a waiting list for the donor valve? Or do they have them ready for implant? And maybe Dr. Chickwe, you can share what a donor valve is in the Ross procedure. Love that question. So when we do the ROS procedure, we're moving a valve from the right side of the heart to replace the aortic valve. And we replace that valve that we moved with a donated valve. Patients always ask me in the office, why don't you just put the donated valve in the aortic position? That's because it just doesn't work as well in the aortic position. It wouldn't be much better than doing a regular valve replacement with an animal valve. Do we have valves on the shelf? for that? Yes, we do. In a busy Ross Center like Cedar sinai we have three or four pulmonary grafts on the shelf just to use for when we have Ross procedures scheduled. Well, so you literally take them off the shelf and implant them? We basically look for the youngest, the largest, the best size, and we implant them. I think I have a Ross next week. There'll be two on the shelf to pick from. Fantastic. Well, I hope that helps you, Carla. I know it helped me. And Dr. Chikwi, as always, thanks for everything you and your team are doing here at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles. Thanks for being with me today. Appreciate it, thank you. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.